Xcode 5.1 has added a facility in uh, auto layout which solves a problem that I know has frustrated me for a little while and that's the following one. If you look on the screen now I've got a view controller with four sub views in, in the container view and these are, these are labels for simplicity. Now they're laid out equally spaced within the container view but as you probably know if we change the size of the container view that equal spacings remain between each other but uh, with respect to the container view it's no longer evenly spread. Worse of course is when you rotate so if we look in the simulator not only does that look a bit odd but when I rotate of course you lose the bottom uh, view and uh, all the effect of equal distribution is lost. So previously you had to solve this one, as far as I'm aware, in code. However now you can set constraints to do this in uh, Interface Builder. So if we start with this top one, at the moment there are no constraints applied. In fact, no, let's, let's do something even simpler. Let's give these all um, horizontal center constraint. Go. So that's the first one. So we want them all in the in the uh, horizontal center, but vertically it's a little bit more involved. Uh, it kind of helps if you kind of get maths of, of what's going on with this stuff. So let's take the top one. So if you imagine the height of this container view, then the center of this one would be 0.2 times the value of that height. So if the height was 100, that would be 20 pixels down, 40, 60, and 80. So let's actually get Interface Builder uh, to uh, do that. So I'm going to add a constraint, and the way I like to do this is actually to do what you might not expect, is go to the bottom space to bottom layout guide. And so we see this constraint added here. And at the moment, it's a constant. It's 373 pixels from the bottom. Now, let's first of all play around with this, just so you can see cause and effect. Let's make that zero. No surprise, the uh, label has now moved to the bottom because it's one times the bottom layout guide plus zero. Let's now fiddle around with this one. 0.5. How about now? You think, well, what's going on? And this is where I think another little change in Interface Builder really helps. And we need to think about the maths. First item they've got here is the bottom layout guide. Now I find that counterintuitive, so I'm going to do this: reverse first and second item. Okay. Let's go back to that constraint, which I've now lost. Um, put that back to one. So if we look at this, um, this is label one dot bottom equals the bottom layout guide times one plus zero. So what would happen if I did bottom layout guide times 0.5? It goes to halfway down the screen. So 0 0.2 is effectively what I want. And a slight adjustment, I'm going to say, well, actually, I want it to be the center of the label. OK. And that'll come up as a center Y constraint here. So the center Y value of this one is 0.2 times this plus 0. And now we replicate that. This will be 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8. So let's do that. I'm going to kind of skip the video to save repetition. I'll just do the last one. Okay, so let's do that again for the uh, for the last one here. So uh, again, we want this constraint relative to the bottom layout guide. Grab hold of it by clicking on it. I'm going to swap these around because I like to see first item is related to second uh, as an equation. So top label, center Y, 
little delay the mix code there uh, is 0 0.8 plus 0. I might tweak the constant in the match lead to allow for things like status bars and things, but uh, there we go. And now we can test this by clicking here. And as you can see, they're evenly spaced, both relative to each other and with respect to the parent view. And let's try that in the simulator. And this is where the real magic seems to happen for me when you rotate. They're now evenly distributed.